<clears throat> what's up YouTube um, I need to clarify um, some more shit in regards to dark skinned black men cause you know I, I still hate the whole stereotype that you know dark skinned black men have always been in style and black women have always you know been attracted to them and, but we just refuse to date them and that's, that's bullshit alright you know a lot of us are basing our viewpoint on what we see on TV and the images that we see on TV of black men aren't weren't created for us. Meaning, okay, as far as the whole sex appeal of a black man, first of all, with the image that we're seeing of the black male are what white women, Asian women, and other women are attracted to, and that is of you know your dark-skinned, educated, well-built brother kind of like uh demon hansel right who kind of you know who's african but kind of has that british charm who speaks in a certain way but still has those manly features or like uh what's his name jimmy john Luis, you know the the black dude uh, i think he's from haiti who was the main interest to monique and fat girls um so that's what that's typically the image you see, or even Makai Pfeiffer on ER, or Omar Epps, or um, anybody else that you see on TV currently, alright? That's not what black women have said, oh, we want to see this on TV. That's honestly what white women, Asian women, all these other women are attracted to. Because notice how all these men tend to be educated. That's what these men are attracted to. You throw up game, black women are going crazy. But other women of other races aren't necessarily, you know, screaming off their back. Because they're not really attracted to that. They're not attracted to necessarily rappers and athletes who you can't put together a sentence or, you know, who are tatted up. They're more into that refined type of dude. Are you, I, I forgot. Um, even your Derek Lukes. Right? That kind of, you know, that dark-skinned, you know, who kind of has the African features. Um, but... If you look at his background, you know, he grew up educated. He maybe grew up in London or something like that type of persona. And I can keep going, you know what I mean? So, that's what these other women of other races are attracted to. And that's TV. But black women have saw that and acted like that's what we've always liked. And we've been liked. And, and I, made the, I made the point a while ago... That if you talk to an everyday dude, not what we see on TV, who was 18 or a young adult in the early 90s and the 80s, they will tell you that, uh, you know, if you weren't a ball player, you weren't getting much love with black females. I mean, I hate to use, uh, you know, entertainment or movies, but even look at the time. I mean, I love Michael Jackson. That's when, you know what I mean, he was like kind of like that light-skinned black dude. You had Prince, you had DeBarge, and you had a whole host of New Jack and 80s um, R&B artists who were that girly, girly, light-skinned dude. Alright? Black women have always preferred light-skinned men. Like, just because you're light-skinned doesn't mean you're a pretty boy. And I use game as an example. Because he's light-skinned, but he's not a pretty boy. But women love it. Chris Brown is not necessarily a pretty boy. Some might say he is, but the way he acts, that's not the definition of a pretty boy. He doesn't have curls, and he doesn't necessarily act feminine. That's not pretty boy. That's traditionally what black women are attracted to, and have always been. Now, it's changed because white women and other women have started to like the Demon Hansels of the world. Or your traditional black men, you know, your Makai Pfeiffers, your Morse Chestnuts. Morris Chestnut has been around since, you know, the late 80s, early 90s. We all remember Bad Boy, or not Bad Boys, Boys in the Hood. We all remember that shit. Black women weren't screwing up and down about him then, were they? No, they weren't. Yeah, he got a new haircut, and, you know, he hit the gym up a little bit, but he's pretty much the same dude. Y'all weren't hooting and hollering. I mean, I even use Jamie Foxx. You know, he was around doing, you know, fucking, uh, In Living Color. Uh, even when he had the, the Jamie Foxx show. 
he wasn't really blown up to how he is now. I, and it just, it kind of just like happened. I don't know. He's always been talented. But he wasn't deemed as that sex symbol. What? Because Mass America wasn't really putting that image out there. Like, that. even Usher. Anybody who knows R&B knows that Usher has been out for the longest. Alright? Confessions wasn't his only, you know, great album. But even then, look at the appeal he's getting now. He's not marketed as a pretty boy. You know, he always has the rough beard. Like, you know what I mean? Usher, he has a good stylist because Usher can easily be viewed as, as you know, just by default, kind of like soft and whatnot. But they do a good job of toughening him up and making him look, you know what I mean, like solid, you know what I mean? And, and that's what these women Asian white I don't care what they are that's what they're attracted to but black women haven't I made the point before in everyday terms if Chris Brown was just a, a regular dude and Tyrese was just a regular dude Tyrese would get more love from white women or women who are non-black and Chris Brown would get more of the attention. I'm not saying Tyrese wouldn't get any love, but not as much as black women want to say. Because not all light-skinned dudes are pretty boys. Matter of fact, the whole pretty boy phase, that's done. Nobody really embodies that pretty boy shit. You're not going to find too many dudes running around acting like a pretty boy. Like, first of all, like nobody, women don't like that. Just in general. I don't care if you're white or whatever. People aren't into, you know, that whole pretty boy, uh, you know... I have a mirror in my face all the time. Like, no one's really attracted to that shit anymore. Especially with the whole, you know, sexuality thing. And the whole who's lesbian and who's gay. Like, people want to know, are you what you are? We don't want that borderline shit. And that's the point I'm trying to make. But black women have been like, no. Like, it, it's just frustrating because it hasn't always been the case. Stop looking at what you see on TV. Because what you see on TV wasn't meant for y'all. Really, it wasn't meant for y'all. Because that's not what you liked before. Show me an established history of black women liking, you know, the dudes that I'm talking about. I mean, look at Seal. No one, no one was talking about Seal, you know, in 92. When he was doing his thing, no one was talking about him. But once, you know what I mean, white America and, you know, found that attraction... In dark-skinned, educated black men who don't come off as thugs and gangsters and who can speak and who are educated and are articulate, then it became an issue that he has a white wife. That's when it became an issue. Not before. So it's like, once again, you guys, have, black women have been deceived by what they see on TV. Pretty much deceived. So how do I mean, tell me how you feel. But when you come at me, don't come at me with that shit, oh, whoa, this is what is on TV. Come at me with some real shit because my shit is backed up from people in my family and just from people who I've talked to who are older cats. Even with my older sisters and my cousins, they'll, they, like, they have no reason to lie. They'll tell you. I remember the kind of cats that my sister used to like and go for when she was in high school. I remember that shit. Same thing with my cousins. I remember all that shit. Don't let that TV shit fool you. Because what you see on TV is not meant for you. It's meant for other women. That's why, you know, white women love... Not much to say they love, but if you look at, you know, the type of dude that, you know, white women are... Not even necessarily white, but Asian women and other, you know, ethnic groups, the type of black men that they like, they don't like game. They don't talk about, you know, they don't... Make videos like Beyonce that's talking about I want a thug and a gangster. Like, you're a millionaire. That video still fucking bothers me. And that's the shit I'm talking about. That's what you like. If you want to know what black women like, watch Beyonce's video. I need a soldier or whatever it was with T.I. and Lil Wayne. She did it a couple of years ago. YouTube it or do whatever. And look at that video. That's the kind of shit that black women are liking. Alright, if you want to see what white women and other women are kind of attracted to, watch ER and watch Mackay Pfeiffer. Or watch House, even though I hate that show, watch it. And just watch Omar Epps. Alright, and then you can see the difference. 
and you can see the difference in actually what these you know women are going for. And like I said, I know it's TV, but that shit, I can back that up in reality. Like, I can, you know, that's what I see. I see more women going for the, th black women going for the thugs and gangsters. And I see more non-black women going for your Omar Epses and your uh, Makai Pfeiffer's and your Demon Hansu's.